you expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you, Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O oh my Jesus, I desire to love you with a love that no soul has ever loved you before you. I implore you for mercy on the whole world to be transformed into the love of you, and may your kingdom come. Amen. Dear beloved of God, I welcome you to meditate with me on the conference on mercy. Diary number 1777, the Lord said to St. Faustina, I quote, My daughter, know that my heart is mercy itself. From this sea of mercy, graces flow out upon the whole world. No soul that has approached me has ever gone away unconsoled. All misery gets buried in the depths of my mercy, and every saving and sanctifying grace flows from this fountain. My daughter, I desire that your heart be an abiding place for my mercy. I desire that this mercy flow out upon the whole world through your heart. Let no one who approaches you go away without that trust in my mercy, which I so ardently desire for souls. Pray as much as you can for the dying by your entreaties Obtain for them trust in my mercy, because they have most need of trust and have it the least. Be assured that the grace of eternal salvation for certain souls in their final moment depends on your prayer. You know the whole embassy of my mercy, so draw upon it for yourself and especially for poor sinners. Sooner would heaven and earth turn to nothingness then would my mercy not embrace a trusting soul? Dear beloved of God, in yesterday's reflection on sacrifice and prayer, we saw the Lord Jesus asking St. Faustina to take up the scripture reading the Gospel of John chapter 21, and he went on to say, Let this scripture reading feed your heart more than the mind. And we saw the Lord calling St. Peter, asking him, Do you love me? At Peter's response of total surrender, Christ missions him to tender his frock. Today, in these words of mercy, the Lord Jesus commissions us today, his children, and he gives us a mission to go and spread his mercy. He gives an assurance that no soul has ever approached him for mercy and gone away unconsoled. With this assurance, he asks us to be an abiding place of his mercy, and he desires that from us his mercy flows to the whole world. To me what stands out is, he gives us an assurance and he sends us out to be his messengers. To be a spark in our world today, in our word, in our deed, in our prayer, that we may be a living frame of mercy. 
that is infectious and attracts everybody around us. And he goes on to say, Let no one who approaches you go away without trusting in my mercy, for I saw ardently desire mercy for souls. And the question here is, in our world today, when burdened souls approach me, desperate in their situations, do I have the courage to talk about this God that I've encountered? Do I have the courage to entrust them to the mercies of God? It calls for trust from our own side, because you cannot confidently entrust somebody where you yourself have limited trust. That is one mission that will be a living spark of trust. Number two, he gives us a mission to pray for the dying. And he goes on to say, Obtain for them mercy, because they are in most need of trust and have it the least. The many times I reach the death bay, if these souls can still speak, they ask you, please pray for me for healing, for recovery. They are still holding on to the earth. They are still holding on to the world, for it is the life that we have lived and known. The fear of what next. As he missions us today, he asks us to pray for those souls that they may let go of the world and let embrace of the divine, of the eternity, of the mystery at hand. And he went on to tell St. Faustina, and he's speaking to us today, Sooner would heaven and earth turn into nothingness than would my mercy not embrace a trusting soul. So the vehicle for drawing all the graces we need is trust. When he gave St. Faustina his merciful image to the whole world, he said, this image should have a signature, which is Jesus, I trust in you. A reminder that in our hearts, deep, deep, deep in ourselves, we should have a lifetime imprinted mark of Jesus, I trust in you. And so would melt all the graces that stream from his mercy. It is my prayer for you and for myself, dear beloved of God, that the good God may draw us deep in his mercy and arm us as his living spark of mercy in our world. Amen. Sake of his sorrowful passion. Have